Hello and welcome to Wigs with Liz. My name's Liz and I wear wigs and I'm really excited today because I've bought myself another new, for me, natural image wig in a shortcut. I'm so excited about this wig. This wig I'm going to be sharing today is called Catania or Katiana, which I love more, Katiana with a K. And this is from Natural Image Wigs and the colour is Paprika Mist. Now I reviewed their April wig in Paprika Root. But this is Paprika Mist and I'm more excited about this colour because I've already got this colour in a very long wig by Natural Image called Josephine. So I'm really excited about this style and I saw this on Amazon. So I wasn't looking around Natural Image wigs looking for a short wig. I was just looking on Amazon and this popped up and they had one in stock in this colour and I thought this is calling to me. This is calling to me. Now I did notice it's a petite cap. But I'm okay with petite caps from Natural Image Wigs because I already have fantasy in petite. My boyfriend ordered that for me, not knowing that I like an average fit. And that was a petite cap and it fits me fine. So I knew this would fit me because I'm a 21 inch head. So if you're kind of a 21, 21 and a half inch head, you're going to get away with this, this petite cap. I'm sure you will. But obviously measure your head and you know, check your requirements before you would buy this wig. But I knew I'd be okay. And I've only tried it on in the mirror because I want to style it with you guys and show it to you guys. And the fit's fine. <clears throat> it actually fits me. I would never know from trying it that it's a petite cap. I would think it's just a nice snug average fit. It reminds me a lot, this fit, of how the Noriko wigs fit me and how the Godiva Secret wigs fit me. So if you're okay with Noriko and Godiva Secret Wigs, you're going to be okay with a petite cap in this particular one anyway, Katiana, or and maybe any others because fantasy fits me like that too. So I'm really impressed with the fit, the style, I like it, it's something a bit different for me and I'm excited to get it on my head. So Katiana from Natural Image Wigs in Paprika Mist. Now as I said, I was looking on Amazon and it came up and I didn't even realise that Amazon have these kind of high-end wigs. I think they only have like one or two in stock though. So I thought I'm going to snap it up. So I bought it from Amazon. Now before I bought it, I thought I'll just have a quick look on YouTube and have a look to see what this wig's like because I like the way it looked on the model, on the kind of picture. And I thought, oh, I wonder what it's like someone just trying it in a video. And I could not find one. I could not find a video review on Katiana Wick. And I thought, well, this is a sign I'm meant to buy this wig and review this wig for anyone out there thinking the same. Where is Katiana? What's it like? What's the style like? So let's do that today. So first of all, let's have a look at the cap. Now, this is straight out of the box. I haven't sewn wig clips in or anything. I just got it out and I thought, yeah, I'm eager to do this video. You can already see the gorgeous red. I'm going to show you the colour in a moment. But the thing I really love about natural image wigs, and I've spoke about this so many times, is the way they feel around the front, you know, this part of where it goes on your head or on the hairline, it feels so nice. It's like a velvet feel, very comfortable and nice to wear. And, you know, especially for anyone going through alopecia or hair loss, this will feel lovely on the head. So very comfortable to wear. You've got lots of breathable wefting at the back here. It's a very light piece as well, very light wig. You know, you can hardly tell you've got it in your hand, even though I've got it on one finger there, hardly tell. And it's got machine teasing on the top, but it says breathable machine teasing. So it gives you a little bit of that high volume vavavoom permatease, which these little short wicks need to give it the volume. Otherwise, it just looks flat and lifeless. So I like that. Now, I'm just going to turn it inside out and give her a little shake. Always recommend shaking a short wig because sometimes they can shed a little bit of hair. But I mean, look at this style. First of all, look at the colour. So if you're after a gorgeous red paprika mist, I love the paprika root as well in April, but that's quite, you know, like a darker version. This is more brighter. So this is more like a brighter version. This colour reminds me a little bit of Irish Spice from Good Irish Secret Wicks. So obviously Irish Spice has got highlights through, so it's a little bit different, but it reminds me a little bit of that as well. So I love the colour and I love how it's kind of, you know, it goes into the back here. And you can see there's lots of height on this wig. So if you don't like a lot of body, you can pat it down. 
and we're going to do that with water i've got my water spray so we're going to spray some water and we're going to style it but i do feel that maybe you know if you don't like um a lot of volume you may not like this one but if you do you're going to love it so and as i said i've only tried it in the mirror and it's kind of got pieces that come around the face and it's got a lot of body so let's get her on so as i said i haven't yet sewn wig clips in this that will be my next job to sew wig clips and i'll probably just put one in because uh, you know, it's a very short style and you know the way that the front is i'll just put one clip there that will be all it needs in this wig to secure it in so let's get her on so you know just have to be a bit careful it's not going to rise up when i'm putting it on because i'm not putting on this on with a wig grip or anything so thumbs at the back where the label is i'm going to put the front of the wig about there and i'm going to pull it up to my hairline now i'm just tucking in the back of my hair look at this colour first of all gorgeous absolutely stunning so i'm just making sure all my natural hair is pushed in at the back and then i'm going to grab these two ear tabs and align those so they are straight and it's you know so i know the wig's on straight now before i even pull it up to my hairline i just want to tell you about this fit because it fits me really nice it doesn't feel uncomfortable or like it's pushing on my head because it's a petite cap it feels like an Eureka wig on me that's how it feels when i'm putting it on so it feels fine so as i said you know if you used to wearing Eureka wigs and you like them and they feel nice or you like the way godiva secret wigs feel you know the machine tees godiva secret wigs you're definitely going to be able to get away with a petite cap in natural image but always check your measurements now i'm just lifting it up to my hairline which is there and you can see straight away the type of style so again it's got a lot of volume so if you don't like volume you may not like this wig but if you do and you don't mind a bit of body and height you're gonna love it because i just think it's really nice and i love how it comes around the face now i have noticed this bit here is kinking out a little bit and that's just how it's been in the box you know it's been lying in the box so i'll probably just need to get a little brush with a bit of heat on it and you know just kind of roll it down a little bit to get how i want it to be and i have got you see now i've got my roller brush here but i think i might be able to do it anyway with water so just first of all playing with it without doing anything to it i really do like the style and i like it because it's got this kind of sweepy bang that you can wear over your face like this so you know if you like it with a bang really pretty you know you can just if you want to wear it with a bang just take a tiny bit off if you need to just you know if i was going to wear it like that you know with like a full bang i would just take a little bit off the the weight there just so it's not falling in my face but i quite like it sweeped over like this it's something a bit different and i personally do love all this volume and the thing is as well because it's a machine tease cap and it's a petite cap for me the fit feels really nice so i feel like i don't even need to put a wig clip in this i could go out in this right now with it exactly like this and feel secure in this wig like i'd know it was, wasn't going to fall off my head or move because of the sizing of the cap if it was an average cap then obviously it would be a bit bigger i don't think they do this wig in an average cap not that i've seen anyway because i did check on natural image wigs website and they'd also got the petite one so I know that it's going to be fine you know and i'll but i will definitely put a wig clip in just for that added security but she's gorgeous so let's have a look in the mirror first of all beautiful this color paprika mist is really nice it's really pretty i love how it goes into the nape of the neck i'm loving the style and you know when you get used to wearing a shorter style you know it needs that bit of volume on the top otherwise it would look flat and lifeless and the style wouldn't look right so you can definitely wear this straight out the, out of the box throw and go as you can see i haven't got to do much to it at all really to get it to look okay it's just for me with this bit around the face and with it kinking a little bit i think if it was if i blasted that down with a hair dryer it would perhaps be a bit more pc so what we're going to do we're going to put some water on So I'm just spraying some water on and this will just piece it out a little bit. See, I'm just using my fingers, just scrunching it a little bit to get the style. So you can see as well, it's kind of flattened it down a little bit and it's just, you know, it just improves the style when you just put a little bit of water on it. 
Now you can definitely wear it over. I could put a clip in there and it would look really pretty. You know, if I'm thinking, right, I don't want to mess around with this fringe, this bang, I'm just going to put a little clip in. Now that would be really pretty, perhaps, you know, for a, a style, if you were going somewhere, if you got like a little diamante clip and you just popped it back like that. Isn't that pretty? Yeah, that takes care of the problem straight away, not that there's a problem. And even though it's not a lace front, it really doesn't need to be. It looks completely natural. You know, for me, wearing these little red wigs, you know, because my dark hair, naturally, it looks natural anyway. You know, if this was a blonde, you may just see a little bit of my bio hair coming through, but it's fine. So you can just wear a little clip in like that. Now, obviously, I want, I don't really want it with a clip in. I want it sweeped over like this. And you can see, just putting a little bit of water on has already put it into style. You can also use the heat of your hands to get it to stay into place. So you may want to wear this more as a full bang, but I kind of want it with that sweeping effect. That's how I want it to be like that. Just like that, how it's gone there. You know, with a little bit around the face. And that's what it looks like when you actually look at this wig on the picture. So if I actually bring it up on Amazon, Let's have a look. Let's have a look. Bear with me a second. I'm just going to go on to Amazon and I can show you the picture. Whenever I'm live, I'm not live, but do the videos like I'm live, and I go on to the internet, it's always slow. It's like, you know, teaching me patience. So I'm just going to on track and manage your order. So I got this from Amazon and let me just go on to the wig itself again. And I bought this for 125 UK pounds, which is a bargain. So this is the picture. And obviously I know it's a different colour on there, but you know, they don't really show the colours on there. But when you used to buy natural image wigs or wigs, you can you know what the colour's gonna be. So that's Katiana. Now you can see there it's very similar to how you know the picture is. So when I'm looking at the wig in the in you know how I've just styled it there, this is exactly how I want it to be. So don't be afraid if you get it and it's kinking up or it doesn't look right. Just a little bit of water, that's all I've used. And I've got her into style. I feel that she's perfect like this. This is absolutely how I'm going to wear her. So I like this little bit of kinkiness coming out. You know, like a, a kink, not kinkiness, kink. Like a little kink coming in this. So this sweeping bang, I really like that. It's something different for me. And you know, like I say, you can easily clip it out of the way if you want to. Or style this a bit different. You know, you can wear it more as a full bang. But I quite like it. Sweeped over a little bit like this and pieced out. How I add it just. I've just got to get it like that again. And just spray a little bit more water on. Don't be afraid to spray water on and mess around with it and piece it out. And you'll get it how you want it to be. So it's a little cute wig. I think this is lovely for the money. You know, if you're after a bargain buy you know 100 over 100 pounds really nice and you may even be able to get this cheaper on natural image wigs or i think it is about the same price though from what i saw i think it's 129 pounds on their website right now but you know there's always sales on you know you can use your your brush to just kind of pull it across like that that's how i'm quite kind of liking it like that you know with a little pieced out look so you've just got to play with it really you know, look at that, really pretty. I could easily put a headband into this just to break the style up a little bit. I kind of like doing that as well with these little wigs, especially around this time of the year. You know, just something a little bit different, but really pretty. So if we have a look from the side, isn't that pretty? Have a look from the back. Really nice. And my hair is in there, you know, fully. You can't really tell at all there's a ponytail in there. And no one would be looking anyway. You know, if you go out in this wig, people are just going to think, wow, she's got lovely hair. They're not going to think, oh, she's got a bulky bit at the back that's sticking out and it's a ponytail. Because you don't look for that. And you can't see or tell anyway. You know, there's no way anyone would know I was wearing a wig. And it's just a little short, punky style. I really do like it. So I like April wig by Natural Image Wigs. That's a gorgeous little pixie cut. But I think I do prefer this one just because the way the band gets. So I like them both to be fair. But it's really nice. So this is Katiana, K-A-T or Kat, 
um, Katiana, it's K-A-T-Y-A-N-A, -A. so I think it's Katiana, or, or, or Katiana, but call, I'll call it Kat. So I really do like Kat, and, you know, I really hope this does help someone out there who may be thinking, oh, I've seen this wig, and there's no reviews. I mean, maybe you found a review, but I couldn't find one. So I thought, right, then. I need to be doing a review on this wig, so this will help someone out there. And, you know, if I saw this, this would really help me. If I was thinking, oh, yeah, I'm going to try it. So, Katiana from Natural Image Wigs in Paprika Mist. Gorgeous. I love this red. I'm so happy I've got this colour, you know, in this style. It's really nice. Because I love the Paprika Root, but this is just a little bit brighter and you know just a little bit more va va -voo. so i really do like it so obviously i love the paprika root in april but i think out of the two wigs and the two colors i do prefer katiana in paprika mist but let me know what you think in the comment section i hope you've enjoyed this have a great day and i'll see you soon